Okay, so Rochelle and I are still at the creek beyond Abrams Creek. Yes, so I'm going to try a game that one of my students created, Ursa. Thank you, Ursa, for coming up with this very creative idea. So I've collected different objects from nature, and Rochelle's here to watch. She's my audience, along with you. In real time, she's my audience. <laughs> So the object of the game is to exercise your raccoon touch. So here's my hand. <laughs> and you either close your eyes or blindfold your eyes. And I've created kind of a circle here with these leaves. You can kind of sort of see it there. And then I've collected different objects from nature. Uh, berry, some plants, and of course there's other things within the circle that I could try to touch and identify. And also I'm going to add my sense of smell, dog nose we call it, in our Nature Connections class. So here we go. So I'm going to turn the camera to look at me as I close my eyes. <laughs> And with my hand, I'm going to reach into the circle and begin taking hold of different objects with hopes that as I'm doing this with my eyes closed, <laughs> I still um, can control the camcorder here. So here I've grabbed a stick and uh, now I can only do this with one hand since the other hand's holding the camera. It smells very stickish. <laughs> and uh, it's papery on one end, something perhaps I wouldn't notice with my eyes open. So when your eyes are closed, your senses are definitely more keen. And I'd say that this stick is about foot and a few inches long. So I'll put that down, take that out of the circle, and feel for my next object. So I feel some moss here on the forest floor. Very nice. See what else I can feel. Again, my eyes are closed, so this is part of the circle of leaves. And some grass. It's attached to the ground. Let's see if I can find any of the objects I collected. Here we have another stick and it's it's dirty. It's got um, <clears throat> hopefully I'm pointing the camera at myself. It's very earthy. It smells really good. I love the smell of forest dirt. It's so rich and earthy. So, yeah, that's, it's wet, it's damp where the dirt is, and uh, yeah, so that stick, see what else I can find in the circle. I'd like to find that berry. This is a, some type of a plant that's stuck in the ground. I tried to make sure that... Uh, I didn't have poison ivy here. <laughs> I certainly don't want to be putting my hands in poison ivy because I am allergic. Hmm, this is different. This is not something I have remember picking up. It's a thicker stick with um, a little bit of a hollow. My hair is in my mouth. <laughs> smells stickish. It's got a quite a rough end there. It's a wider end. Ow! <laughs> okay, that one had a splinter in it. All right, so let's. Ow! Okay, I'm gonna open my eyes to get the splinter out. There we go. All right, let's see what else I can find. Ah, I was hoping I would get this, the berry that I found, yeah. Oh, it's uh, 
kind of mushy. Well, actually, the berry is, um, how do I say this? It's starting to hollow out. The, the um, fruit inside is drying up. So the skin is um, leathery and squishy. Yeah. So there you have it. Okay, so I just want to thank Ursa, my student, our student in Nature Connections for creating this game. It was a lot of fun. And I encourage the rest of my students to try this game. And I'll probably put this on my website for folks to see and to get out in nature and enjoy days like this and try a fun dog nose raccoon touch game. So I think we should call it Ursa's Raccoon Touch Dog Nose Game. Mm, maybe that, we'll have to think of a name. Hmm. Maybe Ursa's Circle Blindfold Dog Nose Raccoon Touch Game. Hmm. That's a little long. Let's think about that one together as a class. Thank you for watching.